All right, in today's video, we are going to be copying this rice paddle using a couple basic drawing tools. Um, there's two reasons why I'm gonna draw it as opposed to just trace it. First reason is um, tracing doesn't always happen perfectly, especially if there's a little bit of crank in your spoon because then you end, have, end up having to rock it. It just can become a pain. It's, it's good enough. But the second and more important reason why I'm tracing using tools is because if you follow along, using the same tools, you can actually get pretty close to the same pattern as I have um, just using these tools. So, and then hopefully you also have skills where you can just draw your own templates um, freehand and from your own thoughts. So anyway, here's what we're going for. Let's get started. So I always start with just putting one just straight line down the middle of the paper. There we go, that's a straight line. And now um, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna figure out how far across we want our circle to be. So I'm gonna look for just roughly the widest part. This is almost three and a half, and I'm actually gonna make it three and a half um, because I'd like my next rice paddle to actually end up being a little bit bigger than that. So half of three and a half, 1.75. Right there, so 1.75. So that means that when I put this down the middle, it'll make roughly roughly the same size shape. And it's also good to keep in mind that when you make a template, in the end, you're gonna be tracing it and then shaving off wood and you can always shave off more so it's not not bad to go uh, a little big <clears throat> all right so that would be the actual paddle part of the rice paddle now the next part is this handle which kind of has like an asymmetrical flare to it so what I'm going to do once again I'm going to just say okay roughly at the symmetrical part it's about almost one and a half so I'm gonna go almost three quarters and then I want to decide okay well how long do I want this to be so it's almost three quarters at about two and a half out so go here two and a half put a little mark at that mark oh I just changed that oops not what I was supposed to do so back to almost three quarters great now at that mark I'm gonna draw another circle starting on the center line and that's because this is going to just mark the maximum width so you don't actually have to trace even the whole circle you can just do the farthest out part I'll even get rid of some of this just, just to make less stuff on the paper to look at. And then the next part comes, we want to make these shoulders. And there's a few different ways we could go about the shoulders. Um, what I'm going to do at first, though, is I'm going to actually just do this simple. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm not making this too complicated. I want it to just be smaller, right? The handle, I want to have a slight taper. So... I'm going to squeeze it a little bit just so I know it'll be smaller and I'm going to bring it into right about here and if I put I'm skipping a little bit if I put those marks this gets tricky once you're into small circles okay those marks there then for starters what I can do is now I can trade from the widest part to the skinniest part of the handle and then I can trace far out if I want widest part to skinniest part of the handle again okay and you can trace as far out as you want, right? If you want to make just some weird, bizarre spoon with a really thick handle, then go for it. But what this makes sure is we have like a similar taper 
Um, and we could change that if we wanted to. And then um, I think for this one, I'm honestly, I'm just going to do like this. I'm going to draw my own shoulders because I think that that will come naturally enough. And then the last thing is if I want to keep this asymmetrical aspect of it, then I could say, okay, right about there. Right, or I could leave it open-ended and make my own asymmetrical, right? If it's gonna be non-perfect in the first place. So, there you have it. There you have it, we had, you know, we did a couple simple measurements. We did, uh, this was about, right, what did we say, about three and a half. So I ended up going three and a half across. If we're just, you know, putting down some rough stuff. Do, 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 do. We did three and a half, and then, over here we did a little bit less than three quarters, if I remember correctly. So, just say three quarters. And then over here we went even less than that, and I think it is more like one half. One half. And uh, in my other videos I talk about how to make these shoulders a little bit more symmetrical. I think with something like this, that's already a little asymmetrical, um, in the handle, I think it'll be fine. And if you're a person who's really trying to copy this, this was about, um, yeah, we could say just about three inches out is where, and you know, it's asymmetrical at the end. So <clears throat> we could get into the angles of, but we're anyway, we're not going to do that. So that would be this. And then what I would do, um, if I were trying to make this last, instead of just keeping it on printer paper, I would then take this and maybe trace it onto some cardstock or practice drawing it on the printer paper and then draw it on the cardstock. Um, but I didn't draw it on the cardstock um, first go around because this is my first time drawing it. So I hope this um, you know, helped you maybe figure out how you can draw some of your own templates in the future. I hope this helped you draw this one if you like this template. Um, like the video, subscribe to the video if you want to see more. And I'll be putting out some more videos like this too. Thanks for watching.